addiction is crippling, yet it's just so comfortable. Cozy and cuddly, keeping my priorities skewed and my talents unused and distorting the truth. I can live in this kingdom where no calling or compassion can break my apathy. A castle, a fortress dedicated to me, the lap of luxury surrounded by all of my things. This distracted half-life will never demand that I bring myself to do anything of importance. After all, I am king here. My materialism is malicious, making the malnutrition of my soul dangerous, yet I have been declared righteous, so I am not required to break the viciousness of this cycle. But my world is all of a sudden interrupted, corrupted, and kept from continuing on in the comfortable fashion which makes my life monotonous when I am shaken from my sleep an earthquake beneath my feet with a single thought. I myself would not even exist were it not for a God so generous. For his generosity was not simply a moment in time, and there is absolutely nothing simple about it. You see, it started in the beginning. My beloved ones will need light, so I give them the day and the night. Light will be separated from darkness, but they will have both for dimension to better appreciate the dominion that I give to them. Yet to better understand their own delicate nature, I will create the atmosphere to protect, preserve, and provide all they need to survive. This sky, which will prove the vastness of my love, I will not only give them enough, I will go over and above, for I am a God so generous. They will need a place to live and dwell, so you, mighty oceans, with your rolls and your swells, I command you move back and let the ground rise. The earth, perfectly seated underneath the skies, will be their kingdom. The vegetation that will sustain them and clean their air, the 298,000 species crafted and created with care, the delicacies to both eat and breathe, all around them it will be me they see, for I am a God so generous. I will fill the skies and seas with not just a few creatures, but with more than 10,000 distinct species, all which feature the extraordinary range of my creativity. Creatures all as unique as my people will be. And with them on their land, I will craft by hand the beasts of the earth. They will not even be able to count the millions or be able to estimate the worth of the paradise I give them. All designed to surround them with the same beautiful details I will use on their souls. And now my true masterpiece, my coup de grace. 300 muscles, 206 bones, incomparable detail. If they think the world around them is incredible,
and I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Creator God, their Redeemer, their Lover and Friend. They will see me and they will know me, for I am a God so generous.